Good morning. This is Mr. Eshelman. It's Monday, May 18th, 2020. I hope you had a great weekend and I hope that you're ready for a new week of at-home learning on Seesaw and Schoology and you're excited to find out what your teachers have on there for you, what activities and assignments you'll get to respond to. Um, I know it's getting tough because the weather is getting nicer, just like when we're back at school. This time of the year is a challenge because the weather gets warm, the sun shines out, you want to be outside playing, but we're still in school. And that's still true here too, although we're not at Denver Elementary School. So keep going. We have about two weeks left. And really, we want to try to learn as much as we can these last two weeks to wrap up the year and get you all ready for your next grade. So keep up the good work. Keep working hard. If you're tempted to skip an assignment and get outside, consider finishing the assignment and then going outside once your things for the day uh, for your teachers are completed. Birthdays today, I would say let's celebrate, but we have no Denver Elementary birthdays on May 18th. So we'll see what's in store for tomorrow. Here's an announcement from Mrs. Colbert, fourth grade teacher and student council advisor. We will be having a virtual spirit day this Friday, May 22nd, and it's a pajama day. So you wear your PJs and comfy clothes. Some of you may be doing that all day now anyway. So this time there is one catch. So if you could hold a sign that thanks an essential worker of your choice. So you may have heard uh, in the news and in different places that the essential workers are the people that are still working, even though many other businesses and places are closed at this time due to the coronavirus. So let's thank essential workers this Friday while being comfortable in our pajamas. There's a few essential workers suggested there, and there are many others, so please feel free to add other ones to nurses, doctors, custodians, teachers, lunch helpers, principals, uh, grocery store clerks, lots of people we can thank who continue to work, uh, even though many other businesses are closed and doing a great job keeping us um, stocked with food and um, able to fix the things we need to fix. If we need things from the hardware store or need repairs done, there's lots of people that are out there working hard, um, even though many of us are at home right now, um, working on computers and things like that. So send a picture of yourself in your PJs wearing, uh, holding your sign that says thank you to an essential worker to Mrs. Colbert at her email address, which you can see on the screen. Our quote of the day was recommended by um, one of our young friends at Denver Elementary School, Sarah. She gave me this quote from Walt Disney. It says, all dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. So we all have dreams. We all have things we want to be when we grow up or things that we want to do when we get older or things that we have in our future that we'd like to accomplish. So they will actually get done if you have the courage to pursue them. Last week, we heard a quote that talked about working hard. George Lucas, who created the Star Wars franchise of movies, mentioned hard work. So many of these successful people that we read about in social studies books and science books and see on the news, they worked hard to get where they are. It doesn't often happen by luck that people like Walt Disney become people like Walt Disney and have um, amusement parks and theme parks and worlds named after them, like Walt Disney World or Hershey Park, named after Milton Hershey. People like that uh, have their names remembered in that way for a reason. It's hard work. You could be one of those people someday. Our questions of the day, we have divided into two, a kindergarten first and second grade question. It says, eight kids in my class have cats, six kids have dogs, two kids have chickens, and one kid has a pet rabbit. How many total pets are there in this survey? Notice I said a pet rabbit. Because if your yard is like mine, you may have many more rabbits wandering around in your yard or digging holes in it. The second question with that says, how many more kids had cats than rabbits? The third, fourth, and fifth grade questions, how many inches are in three feet? How many feet are in five yards? That's the customary system. Now two metric questions. How many centimeters 
are in four meters and how many meters are in seven kilometers. So let's see what third, fourth, and fifth graders remember about converting these units. Might be a little tricky um, for some of those with third grade, we'll see. And then some jokes that were submitted by some of our Denver elementary friends. Nora gave me this joke. It says, what did the quarter say to the penny? You don't make sense. Remember, that's a homophone. The cent that goes with penny is C-E-N-T. And the next one, I had a few people recommend this joke. So Jensen was the first one I saw that recommended this one. So thanks, Jensen. He said, what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A dino snore. Good job with the jokes. Thank you for the quote that was recommended for today. We have some more coming up for tomorrow and keep sending more to me on the activity that I put on Seesaw and Schoology. If you're on Seesaw, you can do it. You can add a response to the activity. If you're on Schoology, you can, you can send a message through the Schoology messenger to Mr. Eshel. So uh, I look forward to seeing what you come up with throughout the week. I'd love to have the announcements be student created for the last couple of days of school this year. So before we get off on our work for today, let's stand up and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. So as you get about your work today, remember what Walt Disney said, your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. And also, remember, we have, uh, we have a couple weeks left. We want to work hard. Pajama day on Friday. Hope you have a great week, and we look forward to seeing you back here in the announcements tomorrow. Happy Monday!